Hey guys, Sam and Michelson. We're here on the uh, Gen 2 Michelson 50. It has a name on it now, Misbehaven. So if you see Misbehaven, you know it's the second hole of the Generation 2 Michelson 50s that we've made. I'm here with uh, our commissioning manager and captain, Captain Paul Fecko, right here. And he is demonstrating how to use the new joystick. So let me pan to him. Look at that. Boom. How do you like the new joystick, Captain? It's awesome. So again, the advantages are... That it, it, can, it controls the bow thruster and the engines at the same time. And on this particular 50, we have a proportional speeds bow thruster. So you're asking, Sam, what does proportional speeds mean? That means that with this bow thruster, you can do variable RPM. So it's not just like on off like a conventional bow thruster is. It actually has different RPMs and stuff that uh, can actually hold you against the dock and things like that. So really cool new bow thruster. We're all outfitted with our electronics now. Got the four big 16 inch Garmin displays. 17. 17? Two Garmin VHS. What's this little guy right here? That's a, uh, it's like a race radio that they use buggies and stuff like that. But a lot of captains that don't want to talk on the VHF have their secret channels and they talk. Oh. That. And the range is a lot further than the VHF. Okay, so the range is better and you're not on channel 16, so no one's going to hear you when you're giving away your fish dope and stuff like that. Got a couple of our cushions in. We're still missing some stid chairs up here, but it makes our flybridge feel nice and big so it's nice have a big isotherm drawer refrigerator up here a little ice storage up top so what are we doing today captain i'm uh, setting up the autopilot so we're gonna go out do some circles in the bay set everything up we got our david up there i'm gonna go strap that down a little bit better it is got angel with us today how's it going guys if you guys need any of your boats painted, anything like that, uh, he also does varnish work. He can do it all. So hit up Angel at Jag Yacht Painting in uh, the Shelter Island Boat Yard for that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. I'll uh, I'll keep the video going as we bring this boat up to speed and show you what it's like. All right, guys. I'm up here on the bow of the Gen 2 Michelson 50. Boom. Just wanted to show off all the all the space we have up here. Um, it does not have a dinghy on it yet. It will have a anywhere from 12 to 14 foot dinghy up on here, so that'll take up some of the room. But just wanted to show all the deck space you have up here. Where I'm standing, you have your big anchor locker right here. It's a little dirty right now from the yard, but I'll lift it up for you guys. Boom. Sorry that it's all dirty. It's been sitting in the yard for about a week now, but. Very plain Jane has the windlass in there, has a saltwater washdown as well as a fre freshwater washdown, so you can clean your anchor off and do all that stuff. Um, the 50 also just got this nice new Macrolon enclosure on it. You can see up top right there we have our FLIR camera, FLIR camera. Not really sure how to say it. And behind that we have the our Garmin. It looks like that's the six foot array right there. We have another little uh, Garmin instrument that. Shows you wind speed, wind direction, and all that stuff. So pretty cool. And then up here, a couple more features we're gonna have down low. Um, obviously, your little hailing thing right here. Our big Buell horn. And then in these vents up here in the bow, there's uh, some more fusion speakers. So when you're up here in Catalina enjoying, you can uh, listen to music and stuff like that. Also pretty cool, you have your, your three big windows right here that a lot of our competitors don't have, but it's, it's really nice when you're underway and you're inside of the boat, you can look out and see the uh, 360 degree views of the horizon, stuff like that, so you don't get seasick. Another big thing that we did, we lowered this little kick rail right here where my foot is. Lowered that. It's still really nice to have. We don't want your foot sliding off the side and you rolling your ankle or doing something like that when the boat's underway. Um, and then another great feature about the Michelsons is obviously this big rail. So you're not afraid of walking up to the bow of your boat when you're underway, things like that. 
And there's places to hold all along the way. So you not only have this rail right here, we also have this rail up top. And this is actually a beefier rail that we've been doing on this Gen 250. And you can see right here, this telescopes out. You just pull this guy down, and then this actually can telescope out. Pull that back in, lock it back. And the reason we made it telescope out, again, this rail right here, oh, I got it stuck, is so, let me show you. It can telescope out over my head right here at the transom of the boat and then you can use uh, a canvas cover and use it as like a sure shade, something like that. But just a really easy, neat feature that we have. So again, on this Michelson 50 Generation 2, I'm in the cockpit right now. You have a big day head with a shower in there so you can get hot water rinse off. You don't have to walk in the boat when you're all bloody, stuff like that. You also have an additional shower right here on the outside. So when your kids are getting out of the water in Catalina or Mexico or wherever and swimming, they can hose off right there. Uh, little storage right here, not too much on this side, there's more on the starboard side. Um, another storage in here, you can put rods in there if you want. This is the new door that we're doing on the Generation 2 Michelson 50 right here. So normally the door opens the handle is on the right side and it opens out to the left. Now the handles on the right side opens out, or on the left side opens out to the right into the staircase right here. So a really nice feature, you just click that. Oh, and it's on a gas shock right there so it opens up without it slamming. Really nice feature because when you're underway and the boat is rolling, the gas shock is gonna save you right here. All right, on to our cool new window that we did. So we saw a lot of our competitors had some kind of crazy contraption that either lifts up, stows away, does something, because um, a lot of people want to do like alfresco dining and stuff like that. So it feels like it's one big open space from when you go inside the salon right here, where I'm at inside the salon. You want to be able to pass food or drinks from the galley sink area or your galley refrigerator right here. Pass drinks outside right here. So boom. You just click the button. Voila. It goes down. And the cool thing about it going down is you don't have some giant heavy glass metal window that flips up and latches or anything like that. because. What happens, you forget to put that back down, you're in heavy sea, something like that, it falls down, boom, shatters glass, someone's hurt. We don't want any of that. That's just too much headache. So we thought we had a better idea to just have it like a car window. So you push a button and the glass just goes down. You don't see any of the glass or anything like that. And then look how nice this big open area is right here for entertaining and things like that. So definitely a very nice feature to have. Walking in, got the VIP stateroom right there. This is the master stateroom up here. These are our flybridge cushions, so sorry that they're still in the way. Uh, you guys saw we put the davit in in our last video, so have your davit right there, the master head, guest head. Another cool feature that a lot of people are doing is they're putting a sea keeper in. Uh, it's one of the gyro stabilizers. They're getting really popular though. So we put a hatch, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a hatch right there, as well as your normal hatch for the under salon. But that is uh, specifically to get that sea keeper in and out if you ever did have to do maintenance or replace it or anything like that. So just trying to make it easy, just like how our engine access in our cockpit is so easy. So, your mechanic has to get in, do something to your engine, something like that. Our hatches just open up. You have full 360 degree access to our engines because they're in the cockpit. They're so easy to get. You can get an engine in and out in about two hours. I've seen plenty of people repower their boats, do stuff like that. So a really cool feature about the Michelson. All right, guys, we're speeding up. So I'm going to sign back off and then uh, I'll get some videos when we're going fast. All right, guys, we're up here on the flybridge of the 
Gen 2 Michelson 50 that I've been showing you. We're doing about 20 knots now. I wanted to bring the drone, but the weather's been really bad in San Diego. It's been off and on raining, so I decided not to bring it. 21.4 cruise speed. So 21.4 is our cruise speed. Whoa, feel that turbo kick in, so I'll flip it around. It's nice having four displays because you can put so many different things, especially with the FLIR camera. Three thousand RPM. Talk to it. What else? What else is exciting? What else did we do on this boat that is new and exciting? We're just setting up the autopilot today, making sure everything's running nice and smooth. Since our haul out and everything is perfect, just taking it for a quick sea trial down the bay, test systems. See what we gotta do to finish her out. Yeehaw. Coronado Bridge is downtown San Diego, Coronado Bridge. Lovely day for a sea trial. Look at this. A little bit of light wind chop in the bay. We're just cruising along. Twenty-five knots. Setting up our autopilot. Oh, here we go. Back to our wake. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah, cuts you like butter. You can tell how dry and smooth this boat really is when it's uh cruising along 24, 25 knots. I'll head down to the cockpit. Guys, I can't stress how nice having the stairs going from the cockpit to the flybridge is. Not having to hold on to anything, you just run up and down them. Especially if you have a tray of food, a bunch of beverages or something like that. It's just, it's nine day. You don't want a boat that has a ladder or some scary thing that you have to climb to, in order to get from the cockpit up to the flybridge on it. And then once you're up on the flybridge and you want to get up to the hard top, another real easy ladder right here. Uh, there's no Marlin Tower on this boat, so it pretty much just has access up there. If you need to get to your radar, the FLIR camera, the boat washer can get up there to wash off the bird poop, stuff like that. So just a nice thing to have, but no tower up there. You don't need it when you have a, a cockpit as comfy as this, or a flybridge as comfy as this. That cushion's downstairs, it's not on yet. Carpet's still not in, but boat is coming along and it's so cool having a joystick be able to show you that feature just makes docking your boat so easy for those of you that wonder what it's like or worry about docking a 50 foot yacht it's, will make it real easy for you especially with the proportional bow thruster captain paul fecto he's been with us for 30 years he'll take you out as many times as it needs until you're comfortable with all the systems on your boat docking your boat driving your boat it's just really, really nice. We want you to feel as comfortable as possible in the buying process. So anything we can do to make our videos better, our buying process better, please let us know because we, uh, we're here to help you guys out. For the Michelson family. Michelson family. up there it's sleeping right now we've got to wake it up and then we tell it we tell it 
go. Where is it? Clear camera. There it is. There you go. Back. Is this the gimbal clear camera? No. no. And then that. so we hit home on that. Watch. We hit home and it just goes right there. Oh, that's cool. We didn't have to go home. That was pretty cool. That was pretty It's nice. So yeah. let's look at our engine real quick. Let's uh, have our RPMs and fuel burn stuff there. Source. All right, let's look in the engine room forward. Oh, there we go. There's our rake order. Forward part of our entry. Everything's doing good down there. Oh, let's take a look what we got going in the cockpit. Nice. Nice. There's that fender. Yeah, we're doing good. Nice. Having the cameras is huge, especially for those of you, those of you that have younger children stuff like that. We can put them in the salon, we can put them in the state room, stuff like that. So you can watch your kids, make sure they're not rolling out of bunk beds when you're underway, on your way to Catalina or wherever you're going. The cameras are a huge advantage for uh, safety features. So we're all about safety. Oh, look at this cool Navy boat. Why is it smoking so much? It's from Canada. Really? I don't know, it's not a U.S. ship. Not a U.S. ship? No. Why it smoke so much? It's on fire. Oh. So, Captain, is our GPS all set up now? Our autopilot, yeah. Our autopilot? Is this the autopilot that we're looking at right now? No, that's wind. Oh. oh. okay, so that's what that little... Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell when he hits the turbos. Like, <laughs> Yeehaw. I'm gonna go kick our fenders down. I'll uh, I'll start the video back up when we get close to the dock and show you how easy it is to maneuver this 50 foot Michelson Generation 2 in tight spaces with our new uh, joystick technology and proportional bow thruster. All right, guys. For those of you wondering how to dock a 50 foot Michelson, how much goes into it? We're with Paul. Here we go. So let me spin it around. We're going to that side tie right there. That's a brand new Gen 2 Michelson 43 next to it. We have probably a nice, I don't know, eight to 12 mile an hour wind blowing us in right here. So Paul's at our forward station right here. And a lot of people ask us, why do you have two driving stations? Why do you have one forward and why do you have one aft? And it's just, why not? So you can see all over. When you're backing down into a slip, things like that, it's super helpful to be at the aft station right here. Paul's making it look easy because he does it every single day, 10 times a day. So it's a little different for him, but it's nice to be able to look over, see your bow, make sure you're not gonna be bumping in anybody. And then when you want, you can come back, use your aft station, use your joystick and come on in. Paul making it look easy. I was trying to demonstrate why we have two stations up here. We got Angel who's gonna go get our lines for us today. Let's go. Let's go, Angel, <laughs> let's go. All right, I'll go down too. All right, 
So Paul makes it look easy. Docking the boat actually, it is pretty easy. I'm gonna jump over the side with our stern line. Got Tavo in the background. Ooh. But what a pro, just coming in like that. Look at this, right to the dock. Clean it down a little bit more. Oh. Got our shed. You wanna go forward? All right guys, well there you have it. There's a sea trial on a Michelson 50 generation two with uh, me, Sam, Captain Paul Fecto. So give us a call if you wanna come down do a test ride with us. Come see what it's like to be out on one of these awesome 50 footers or the 43 or whatever other Michelson you want to go out on. We'd love to have you out, take you out for a boat ride, show you how cool our, our systems are. Oh, here's another cool system. Dee 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 dee. So earlier I was talking about engine access for your mechanic or whatever, but how do you beat that? They also just installed a Eskimo ice machine down here that feeds directly into the kill box right here. So it's right, it's this little thing I'll hop down and show you guys. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. It was like very last minute. So there you have it. There's the Eskimo ice machine. This is our fish box right here, right above it. Uh, yeah. Pretty sweet. So we have our generator right here. You have a bunch of room in the middle. Get to either side of the engine and then obviously you have all this room on the outboard side. And then you also have room on the, the forward most side of it. <laughs> Got Angel making fun of me over here. So I think it's time to call it a day guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, comment below, let me know what you guys want to see. Cause hit up Angel at Jag Yacht Painting. We'll make all your uh, boating dreams come true. So thanks for watching, guys.